Hello, my name is Tom, this is Frank and this is Patrick. I will be demonstrating the Scott Work Package 21 elderly monitoring system. Uh, the purpose of the system is to monitor frail elderly or diabetes patients at home and uh, notify a caregiver in the case they fall down. So in the first part we will demonstrate that the system is capable of handling false alarms. Uh, so when Frank falls and then he gets up in a reasonable amount of time, no alert is sent out to the caregiver and the caregiver will not be able to enter his house. And in the second demo he will stay down and the system will uh, conclude that there is a medical emergency and he will des dispatch uh, the caregiver. So, if you please Frank, fall okay. down. Yeah. So the sensors will detect his fall but since he gets up in a reasonable amount of time, the system concludes there's nothing wrong. The caregiver cannot enter his home. He uses his phone. In normal cases the phone would be authorized to open the door, but right now it's not. Now for the second part, this is more serious. Frank will not be able to get up and he needs assistance. Go ahead, Frank. So as Frank lies there, completely motionless on the floor, the system builds up confidence that this is really an emergency that needs attention. And when the system has detected a certain uh, level of, yeah, of motionlessness, it will send out an alert to the caregiver. Um, this can vary in time, but it can happen any minute now. There it is. The caregiver acknowledges that he will address this alert and he will be allowed to open the door. He can help Frank and the other caregivers who also have received a notification receive a message that uh, this emergency is indeed being handled by Patrick already. And this concludes our demo. In the next part we'll be um, discussing the various sensors that are used uh, to build this system. Okay, I will now explain about the various sensors that are used in this system. Uh, first we have the Zetal Jugen uh, sensor. Uh, this is a sensor that can detect presence in a room and it's a wall mounted device uh, as we have here in our lab. And it's capable of uh, detecting multiple people in a room and it sends uh, the location uh, to the central system that we'll discuss later. Uh, then we have the, uh, the Philips uh, elderly UI, and this one has an external battery, of course the actual product will not have that. Uh, this one has a fall detector in it and a panic button, uh, so we can detect the fall of an elderly but also uh, allow him to raise an alarm by hand. Um, and this one is, does not rely on any gateway, so you can also use it outdoor. Um, and then uh, the data is merged together in the TUE uh, reasoning system and in there you can see that um, from the received data from the various sensors uh, this decision system kind of fuses um, uh, an overall trust level and the trust level represents how real is the alert here and only when the alert exceeds a certain threshold that is determined fully by this system uh, by means of machine learning it will actually raise an alarm uh, towards the external uh, system in the cloud. Um, all the logic runs on the uh, person's premises, so only when there is an alert, data will be sent outside. Uh, that happens uh, to the Vemco system, and uh, the Vemco system actually communicates with the caregiver uh, mobile phone and enables them to unlock the door. Uh, the door is protected with an electronic lock um, that is uh, operated by means of NFC, so uh, a mobile phone is enabled or authorized really to unlock the, the door and then the caregiver and only the caregiver can unlock the door uh, for a short period of time. And that concludes the entire system. Thank you.